Hi everyone, Eva here, welcome. So I'll preface by saying I'm not an expert. I'm not necessarily a spiritual guru or leader or anything like that. I grew up in the Catholic Church. I'm a recovering Catholic, as they say. It's very traumatic. If you are Catholic, you might relate. I don't come from a from my necessarily from my spiritual background what i'm saying is i'm sharing my story my experience of what happened to me when i became a raw foodist 100 percent raw foodist i should say what i can tell you for sure is that eating fully raw in my case has definitely increased my sense of joy love and connection especially the connection that i feel to nature i don't ever recall walking around and seeing everything almost in in cinemascope you know in in it's almost like the colors are brighter, the sounds are crisper. I don't know if I'm dreaming or, or what it is, but I, I've noticed around nature, I cannot stop and be in awe. And this is maybe something that happened to me with age, or maybe it has something to do with, with raw food, but I certainly, I feel a deep, deep sense of connection and a deep sense of joy. I would also say to you, if you're going raw, looking for the spiritual path, I would say the more you chase it, the more it eludes you is the law of attraction. So don't come into this lifestyle with any expectations. I certainly didn't have any expectations. I just came into it because I wasn't feeling my best. I, my background, I was sick and I just, one thing led to another. And, and here I am three and a half years later in this path, but I didn't start chasing some spiritual anything. If, if you chase it, it's most likely not it's gonna elude you. So that's the first thing I would say. I have to also say that you're already a spiritual being whether you know it or not. It's a matter of peeling off the layers and raw food has certainly helped me peel those layers off. There is no, no chance that you're not spiritual, we all are. It's just that through raw food, you get to peel those layers that are keeping you from perhaps experiencing your true potential as a spiritual being. So in that sense, raw food can help you because in, in, in a very real sense, you peel off the layers and the emotions surface. And when the emotions surface, something really wonderful happens is that not only in my particular case, was I able to name the emotion, to name the feeling, but I was also able to, to let it be and not to try and fix it or, or change it or eat, eat something so that the emotion or the feeling would go away. So I started being able to not only name the emotion, name the feeling, but actually for the first time in my life, I've been able to, to deal with, with my feelings in such a way that I, I didn't do anything at all about them. I just let them be. And this came about pretty much about a year and a half into my being a raw foodist, I noticed that I dealt with my emotions a whole different way than I used to that had been in my entire life. So I just let the emotions come, I let the fallen, the feelings come, I let myself experience them without labeling, without dis dissecting them, without uh, you know pulling them apart, without trying to suppress them. And that is has been such a huge gift in my life to just feel for the first time. I, it's almost like we're not allowed to feel certain bad emo bad emotions where it's like, go, make them go away quickly. And so I found that to be a huge bonus of being on this path. It allowed me to actually feel and be okay with feeling. In my particular experience also, it wasn't until I finally let go of my tight grip on everything. I used to be a control freak and fanatic. And it wasn't until I let go of my grip including in my raw food lifestyle. At the beginning, I was very structured and, and paranoid and oh my God, I mustn't food combine that way. And I was just so dogmatic. And it wasn't until I finally relaxed and trusted and had realized that my faith is unshakable in this lifestyle. I know in my whole heart and soul that this is the way for us to eat. It doesn't have to be your way to eat. I'm speaking, generally speaking, it's, it's is our species specific diet. Once I accepted that and, and had true faith in the fact that this is, this is all gonna be okay no matter what, I, when I, I, I'm not making much sense, but when I let go of the dogma and the tight grip that I had on the lifestyle and the trying to do everything so perfectly, when I finally relaxed and sort of fell back and trusted, it's when spiritually I began to really truly awake. I'm also gonna say that raw food isn't magical. I mean, people, unless you're eating magic mushrooms, but 
raw food isn't magical it's it's not the raw food that makes you spiritual but something happens when you change your interior chemistry something really definite happens when you stop putting in the acidic and the mucus forming foods and you start putting in the rich water the rich content foods because we are electrical beings and we become conductors i mean when you stop plugging and clogging in your 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 system and you stop blocking your prana if you will you're you become an electrical conductor and i really believe we're like little rods that we are just you know getting zapped from somewhere i, I don't know i can't describe it but i certainly feel that that you are what you eat and when you are eating foods rich in water content and foods that are alive you you will experience some of those benefits it it's not so much it's not so much that the foods are magical it's undeniable that it changes your chemistry i would also like to add that you are whole perfect and complete as you are you're not a better person because you're a raw foodist you're not above anyone else you're not more spiritual even um, because you're a raw foodist but you're definitely more aware i mean that is undeniable you're just more aware and you're more um, turned on if you will like an electrical outlet you're just more turned on and you're more in tune you're just it's just a, it's i feel like a whole different person if i'm being honest i feel like i was sleepwalking in my past i i don't think that i this has been a rebirth for me this has been a whole new way of being that i had never experienced before and like i said don't go into this lifestyle chasing what you heard someone say because it's different for everyone but i'm just here to say that in my experience nothing in my life couldn't compare to how I feel today. The sense of joy, the sense of peace, the sense of butterflies in my stomach um, for no particular reason, the sense of kindness. I, I can't be around unkindness anymore or it really bothers me or I can't be around gossip anymore. It really, really bothers me. Negativity, the news. I just, I can't put it into words. I hope I'm making some sense. To me, there's ob it's obvious that there's something to this lifestyle because if you go into the chats and the web pages and the forums and the groups, you know, of the raw food is all you can, really there's not all, but there's so much talk about spirituality and there's so much talk about you know what happens this awakening that we're having and you know go into a, a keto group or go into um i don't know the atkins group or go into a freaking bacon group or whatever it is and, and you're just not gonna hear that you're not gonna have that kind of chat you know people are are it, it's just not part of it where in this in this community that we have it's just a huge part of it and so I, there's got to be something to it. I've also, I forgot to mention music. Music sounds, I don't know, I can't explain music. It brings me to tears sometimes. And I think it's because, like I said, I'm just turned on, I'm awake, I'm an electrical conductor, and it's really, really hard to explain. So, some of the things that I've experienced, um, spiritually since I became raw and this has been probably right away this happened and I think this is pretty common I've, I've talked to other people that they said that this happened to them too but one of the first things that started happening was I started having really lucid and vivid dreams and these dreams were they they paled in comparison to um to some of the dreams that I had in the past. I mean, I, I thought sometimes I would have a nightmare or a dream that was really, really amazing. I mean, these dreams were like, they were like, it, it, they were real. I mean, if they were so, so lucid, I, I could have sworn I was awake. And some of these dreams have been quite trippy. Some of them have been a little bit scary. And some of them had actually allowed me to heal hurts of the past. And I've had in one particular dream, I had a full on conversation with someone, my mom, who had passed. And I, 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 no amount of therapy could, could equal the benefits that I got from these dreams, the closure, 
the, um, the healing that took place from that dream. And I know this has happened to other people, like I mentioned, but I swear those dreams uh, were, I still have them occasionally, but they definitely happened a lot at the beginning. So there you go, lucid dreams. Another huge spiritual thing that has happened is, like I said before, my feelings, my emotions. I was actually able to begin naming the emotion, naming the feeling instead of pushing it down. I've been an expert all my life and I think most of us are after, of a certain age. The, the young people these days are different. They, they're so much more expressive. But in my generation, I was born in 71. We we didn't, you know, and, and I'm from Spain, I'm from, from um, from Europe and so you know we I grew I like I said I grew up in you know in a Catholic environment and even though my parents weren't overly religious you know in school and things like this and so um, I wasn't always a good expressor of my feelings now it's like you can't shut me up you know like I'm gonna tell you how I feel but not in a confrontational way but in a opening my heart way like sharing with you what's going on inside without holding back without holding my cards close to my chest without um, second guessing what you're gonna then think if i tell you this and so it's been it's been so liberating to to share to actually share how i do feel or what's going really down so because of that my voice has become a lot clearer and a lot more i'm able to communicate better i think and so one of the things that I have found myself completely 100% 100% unable to do is tell any lies whatsoever. Any you know how it's almost normal considered normal to tell white lies to not hurt someone's feelings or to um not really not that I'm rude and I tell like the honest harsh truth. No, I I come from a place of love when I share something, but I'm just completely and 100% unable to lie i mean and, and i've lied in the past i mean i think we all have lied and i have no problem saying that i've told lies of course uh, i don't want to say of course maybe some of you have never told a lie but i have lied and i am currently completely unable to tell a lie if i tell the insiest bitsiest thing that i know in my heart not to be true i just can't stand it i honestly have to say like no that that and i'm sorry no that's not true like i honestly i don't know what's happening but it's a good thing right it's a, it's a really good thing i'm so uncomfortable with untruths and um i think that's a wonderful side effect i also mentioned earlier the there's a feeling that's very very common these days and it's a feeling of butterflies in my stomach i wake up and i'm excited and right now we're in the middle of a pandemic and we're stuck at home and there's just so much going on but yet i i don't know maybe i just maybe i'm not depressed you know some people are getting depressed and i have so many projects and things that i'm working on i don't honestly think that i have time to to be bored i'm busy all day every day but um I feel such excitement when I wake up and I, this is coming from a person that if you had known me in my former life, I was a, I was a Debbie Downer, you know, like what, not that I was always that way, but I certainly didn't have the enthusiasm and the, and the joy and the love that's pouring out of my heart every single day. I just, I didn't have that in me. I was, I was more negative, 100% more negative. So. I hope I have made some sense in this video because I feel like I've been rambling and I don't know if it's made any sense whatsoever, but I, I hope it's, it's kind of inspired you in a way to go raw or to seek a better lifestyle because when you clean your vessel, magical things do happen. Magic does exist. And so I hope I've made some sense. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like and appreciate what I have to say in these videos, I really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment, subscribing to my channel, keeping me motivated and encouraged to keep going with this channel. I really appreciate you guys watching and I wish you all a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you. Thank you so much.